Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do the what's in my makeup bag tag. Um, this tag's been going around for like since beauty bloggers began on YouTube and I just thought I'd do it anyway. Okay, let's start. This is my makeup bag. It's from Kath Kidson and I've had it for about a year and a half and um, it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty full at the moment because I had some stuff lying around my bag and I put it into a makeup bag just for the purpose of this video. Okay, first thing, like the most important thing in my life, MAC blot powder. It's literally my saviour. I have such a shiny nose, chin and forehead which is essentially T-zone and um, mine colour is medium dark and uh, oh hello you can see that I'm on Facebook yeah that's the colour and I normally apply it with this which is from Illamasqua and I was really reluctant to purchase this because it's so but, I have to admit, it is one of the softest brushes I've ever felt in my entire- It feels so nice. One of the softest brushes, and it makes your makeup application about a thousand times easier. That's like your whole face, done, and blended. And exactly the same with a bronzer, you just literally whole face done so this now lives it doesn't live in my makeup bag it actually lives in my bag because it's quite big it's massive and um but yeah I can't really do without this and I actually I did purchase this myself next thing is Clinique super balanced compact foundation which looks like this. It's now been discontinued and I actually paid like £30 for this on eBay because it's kind of a mixture between a concealer and a foundation and as you can see it's really creamy, like, really creamy. Just swatch it. Really creamy, blends like perfectly with my skin and I can use it under my eyes as a concealer and then bring it down here and it'll be a concealer, I use it on my chin, I can use it anywhere and um, I just had to have it I don't know why I've discontinued it because I think it's amazing and um, they have quite a few darker colours left but this is Ivory Light and the other one I use is Alabaster Breeze and they're like gold dust I bought two off eBay um, and I'm pretty sure that once these run out, that's it. I'm not going to be able to get any more. Um, another concealer is Benefit Eye Bright in number two. And I've lost the lid. So it's kind of manky looking. So I've lost the lid and it's a bit rank. That's concealer. Mascaras I have in here that I just carry around with me. God, I have loads. <laughs> I didn't even realise I had this many. I have Definicils. I'm not even gonna like try and speak French. This is from Lancome. And um this is kind of like lash stiletto in that it gives you lots and lots of length but like no volume. Max Factor full slash effect. Uh this is a brilliant mascara, everyone's raved about it. Um I don't know why it says full slash effect. Full lashes, natural look mascara. If you want a full slash effect, you don't want a natural mascara. Anyway, I've got this on at the moment, combined with my Maybelline Volume Express, which this is my HG uh, mascara. I'd recommend this to anyone. It's really clumpy, and um. I'm not going to put it on because I already have tons of mascara on but this also comes in black, 
like a black ad case and a light blue and I have all of them. I have Clinique High Impact Curling Mascara and this has like a curved wand and what I do with this is I just I just use it on the tips of my eyes like that like I wouldn't go from root to tip with it I just literally use it on the tips and on the bottom of my lashes and it just sort of helps give them like a curling curling look, curled effect and then I have Hypno's Drama from Lancome which fat brush gives you lots of volume, really dark black um, I'm not wearing this at the moment, I normally wear this if I'm going out but yeah, they're all in my bag oh, I've got another mascara this is the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Mascara and I would say if you want a mascara which looks brilliant after one application I'll do a review on this actually that looks good after one application it's this I don't know why it's so small I... yeah, it's tiny but um... it's tiny this does what it says really, it gives you really defined lashes and if you curl them before you use it you can get away with one coat of this and your mascara will be done you'll be good to go in about two minutes. This is really good. Like I say, mascara is my thing. Another concealer, um, Bourjois Healthy Mix. Um, I quite like this. People have said that it smells. Oh, it does smell a bit. But the smell doesn't bother me, like, it's never something I've noticed. What does bother me is that it's messy. Like, it's really, really messy. And when you squeeze a product out, you end up with far too much, and you take it off, put it on, and then it's all sort of just left on here, and I just... And it all goes in there, and it's just... It's basically just really badly designed. <sighs> An obvious one. Touche clue. I think every woman in the entire world has bought into the hype of this and has purchased it and then has gone home, put it on and thought, why did I purchase this? It... Uh, unless you have like flawless skin, I really don't think this does much to be honest. Like, I don't use it as a highlighter because it's not a highlighter to me. Like, oh, I'm sure everyone knows what it looks like. But that's not a highlighter. That That's like a pink salmon-y concealer. It's a concealer. It's not a highlighter. And I have really bad dark circles. As in my blog, I posted pictures of me without makeup on. Yeah, really bad dark circles. Um, I'm gonna run out of time, so yeah, I better hurry up. Lip products. MAC Viva Glam, which I'm wearing right now. And blusher, which I apply with this little brush. Number 34. Oh, number 34, okay that doesn't really work. Number 34 from Bourjois, which I just apply on the apples. And it gives a really, really nice pink colour. Really, like, a pure pink. That just looks like my finger. Swatch it. <laughs> And then I have Carmex and Vitari. So yeah, 